If you're a sports fan, make sure you go check out Sportscaster for all of your sports news. Whether you are a Patriots fan or not, this is the perfect way to meet all of your sports needs and is a platform I personally use myself in case any of you guys want to catch me live talking about training camp recaps, etc. I'll leave a link in the description below. What is up, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video, and today the New England Patriots have cut yet another offseason addition. This time, though, it's defensive tackle Mike Pinnell. And this move comes as sort of a shock, but at the same time, it is not super unexpected, especially after the extremely lackluster training camp and preseason that he's been having. Pinnell was an offseason addition that the Patriots got. Uh, he hit free agency. His previous team was with the Jets. He's coming off his best season with the team, actually. He was the second best interior defender in the AFC East, right behind Patriots defensive tackle Lawrence Guy. But really, this was his only good season in his entire career. New England signed him to a two year deal worth about five mil, and sadly, he will not even get to live to see the last preseason game. He was a 6 foot 4, 330 pound defensive tackle and his main purpose here was going to be help helping a you know a guy like either Lawrence Guy or Danny Shelton really plug up the middle and stop the run. Again, the Patriots are going to be facing a lot of good running backs this year, Saquon Barkley, Ezekiel Elliott, Le'Veon Bell twice a year. So it's going to be super crucial that they are able to stop the run. And that was really the, the best thing about Mike Pennell. That was his T, that was his, his really just style of defensive play. New England obviously had to fill this void after they lost uh, defensive tackle Malcolm Brown to the New Orleans Saints. And a lot of people were dismissing Danny Shelton. Okay, everyone was Mike Pinnell, Mike Pinnell, Mike Pinnell, when Mike Pinnell's only had one good season. Now look, I'm not trying to hype up Danny Shelton all that much, he hasn't necessarily been amazing, but he was better than Malcolm Brown was with the Patriots last season, and he's doing a lot better than Mike Pinnell is doing. He's actually been a very big standout in training camp, but more specifically in preseason. Of course, we all know that Danny Shelton's had a very lackluster career. He, he poised in some very key moments for us last season, but there were also games where he went totally inactive. The former first round pick, Danny Shelton, has really picked things up with the Patriots, and ultimately because of that, Mike Pinnell has really gotten pushed down, and it looks like Danny Shelton is going to be the New England Patriots starting nose tackle for this upcoming season. And you might be wondering what the heck the Patriots do at this point going forward, because something I've really been saying is that the New England Patriots probably biggest hole on the defense is going to be defensive tackle. I think they have what it takes at edge rusher. They're obviously great in the secondary and they're obviously great at linebacker. And this further proves my point. But this isn't something that we should just go through and start writing about, okay? Because again, the New England Patriots have really found a star rising in Danny Shelton. Okay, they also have rookie defensive tackle Byron Cowart, who's really been uh, showing up. He hasn't necessarily been making plays here left and right. Now, he definitely has made some plays, but he isn't totally wrecking things up, but he's really applying good pressure and is proving that he's able to stop the run. Not to mention the fact that with Byron Cowart, they're getting a guy for a lot longer on a cheaper contract. New England also has guys such as Michael Bennett, okay? And yes, he's mainly a defensive end, but he's played defensive tackle a lot also. He's a very versatile guy. That's something I've always said about Michael Bennett. And we've seen Michael Bennett already play in that defensive tackle spot. And I think without a doubt, you're going to see him there on a pretty consistent basis. Definitely won't be seeing him at the edge uh, 24-7. You'll definitely see him playing in the interior of the defensive line. You, of course, also have someone like Adam Butler, but something else a lot of people haven't realized is that the New England Patriots have tried, as of late at least, Chase Winovich in more of the interior of the defensive line. Now, I don't really know how that's been working out for them. Chase Winovich, of course, is more of that defensive end linebacker slat like type of role. So I don't really know how well that worked out, but of course, it is very interesting that they are trying him in that position and if it goes well of course that's something where you could always see him if need be and then lastly you have two guys who are also trying to fight and make a push to make the final roster in david perry and nick thurman right now going forward for your defensive tackles you're looking at a lawrence guy danny shelton adam butler 
uh, possibly Byron Carroll we'll have to see how things go going forward, and then of course having guys like Michael Bennett who are also able to flash in there. Roster cutdowns, guys, is ha happening this week. And a lot of teams are going to be releasing a lot of players. Some are going to be shocking releases. Some really good players are going to be end up released. And the Patriots have a good amount of cap space to be able to make some last minute signings. So it wouldn't shock me if a good defensive tackle was to go on the market if the New England Patriots went out and tried to pick him up. But that is it for today's video. What are your guys thoughts on Mike Pinnell being released? Is it shocking? Is it not shocking? Let me know your comments in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. It seriously helps me and the growth of this channel and me being able to produce more videos like this on a more consistent basis. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, share this video with everybody else so we can go to the Patriots Global Family and other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.